<laughs> what about the tucked in for, for a movie? <laughs> Easy. For the movie, remember? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this About to get this incline bench in with the homies. Gotta shoot the dead game, you already know. Time to be. Let's get it. Mandel, kicking it off with the dead game. Go get that new flavor, hard candy apple. You know, you hear everybody saying it, it's true. It's the best flavor we've came out with. It's fire. But um, yeah, we're about to kick off of this workout. We got inclines today. Um, definitely one of my favorite days. Upper body, of course, you guys know I love that. But I love incline, man. It's a good movement, it's fun. It's, uh, it's a lot of power. And it's one of my favorite movements. It helps build that upper chest, gives you that straight bully look, that size. So definitely make sure you guys are hitting incline um, at least once a week, man. It's a great, it's a great movement for power. But uh, let's get this, uh, let's get this money. Dead game, baby. And then while we're working out, sip on that amino. We got some new flavors coming in too, real soon. Uh, I believe we have uh, some lemon lime, which is going to be my favorite. And I uh, can't remember, we got a couple new flavors of aminos coming in though, so stay tuned for that. But it's a must have during the workout. Helps you recover, keeps you hydrated, keeps your muscles uh, firing out, all that good stuff, man. So you want to drink aminos during and after. That's the best times. And then. I'm gonna hook it up with the Time to Bleed Sour Candy. This is for that pump. I like to sip on it, it's like a little cocktail. You know, we sip on that Time to Bleed during the whole workout, keep that pump. We got the dead game to fire us up, and we got the Time to Bleed to keep us pumped up and straight. Getting that itchy, itchy ass crazy pump. So, got the little cocktail going on. It's just bomb right here too. Better than just sipping on water, you know, that good flavor. Time to bleed aminos with the shot of the dead game. That's a major cocktail right there. Yeah. Feeling it. You didn't do nothing yesterday though? Yeah. No workout? We did 100 Navy SEALs. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure, you did that? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, Shit was fun. no joke. <laughs> I mean, those are. Yeah, he did it. He fucking grinded it out. He was fucking shaking, dog. Yeah, I felt like I was gonna throw up last time. That shit's horrible, dog. So on the incline, I like to warm up really well. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't touch my chest. It's the range of motion. Since I've lost the weight, I've actually got a lot more range of motion that I used to, or that I used to have. Um, when I was 350, I'd probably come at least three or four inches above my chest. And now I would say I'm around one or two inches to almost hitting my chest. So the goal is to eventually hit my chest but because of my body structure, my range of motion, I can't just yet. But that's the goal, man. That's probably the biggest question I get asked on the incline is, why don't I hit the chest? And that's the reason why, man. My range of motion isn't there yet. 
but I'll say on this side, I'm keeping tension on my chest so that too can play a part of making it a little bit hard because I don't have that rebound or um, like people say, like a rubber band. I don't have that elastic to just whip it down and come back up. So, you know, you have to weigh out the pros and cons of both. So if you touch your chest, you get a little bit of more bounce and that reaction at the bottom. And if you don't touch your chest, it's less range of motion, but you don't have any momentum or any, uh, you know, power to come out the bottom. So that's my two cents on that, but I'm working to touch my chest just because you guys like that. Let's keep getting it. Come on, Leroy. One, two, three, got it. Good dog. There you go. There you go, Lee. As you can see, Lee has a full range of motion. He touches his chest. And you know, that, that's my goal right there. Um, how, how does it feel, Lee, when it touches your chest? It, like you get a little bit of bounce or? Mm, kind of, not really. I mean, cause it's, you're still, you're going below negative, so like, you're gonna have to still come out of that like negative or that 90 degree uh, uh, angle. You know, when your elbow goes 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So you're going below that. So you're still gonna have to come out of out of that right there. So even if you do bounce it a little bit, like it's still gonna be a hard rep. It's not like you're like getting a, you know a lot of help from a bounce. You know, it's yeah. It's still because that's deep. When you're touching your chest, that's a that's a deep range of motion. So <clears throat> yeah, I know. I, I've talked to a couple guys. And um, I remember what the word is called. It's called the stretch reflex. So I believe so. All you guys out there that, you know, major in this stuff, you know, you could comment below and let me know if I said it right. But I believe it's a stretch reflex. So you're stretching your muscle and then you're coming back up. So it's gonna give you that extra little power sometimes. That's why they say when you wanna be strong, you don't wanna be too flexible. At least that's what I've always heard, is you wanna have that hard tension on, on your muscles. You don't wanna be so loose where it's just sinking into you and you don't have that explosion out. You kind of want to have somewhat tight muscles. You don't want to be too tight, obviously, but you want your muscles to be wound up and, and tight so you can explode out. Like a catapult, like when you're like winding it back. That little catapulter. You wind it back and then you fucking explode out. You shoot it all out. He's a bad little shooter, bad little catapulter. Yes, sir. But yeah, there you go, Lee. That's there you go, Lee. He's a bad little catapult, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be like a catapult. Yes, sir. That's the key. Uh, got me last time. I'm gonna try to fuck it up today. Blow your out there? Yeah. Yes, sir. Ready to get some hemorrhoids. Get it on me. A lot of people also been asking me why I wear a belt when I do incline. Well, for me, it keeps my tightness, it keeps the core nice and tight, and I could push off the belt. It kind of gives you that pressure to wind up. The same thing, like Lee says, like a catapult, as something to press against, um, especially because I've dropped the weight. Uh, you know, my panza is not as big, so I don't have as much pressure around my waistband as much. So I like using the belt. It keeps it tight. It keeps it firm in there. Of course, I don't need it, but um, it does help. And right now, I need all the help, man, I could get to stay strong, you know? So, let's get it. One, two. Get it. Hey. Rick, got it. One, Lee. There you go. Clean. You're a bad little clean man. I got three today. You're a bad little dude cleaner. I got three. Let's fucking get in them, Doc. Those burpees, they're putting in work. Yeah? Yup. I honestly see it. This is the first time I noticed Okay, we got four plates. We're still on the warm up. 
I'm gonna do one rep, see how I feel. From that point, I'm either gonna go to uh, 455 or to 495, 500. So let's see how 400 moves. Sometimes on camera, it looks easier than it actually feels on my body. Sometimes it looks fast on camera, but that shit feel he he uh, heavy. So let's see how it feels. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna show you a little tip too, how to put the belt on. So sometimes when you're just pulling it, you can't get it as tight as you want it to be. But if you grab something like this, and you hold on to the piece of equipment, metal, whatever you got, and use it kind of as a lever, and then pull your body to the opposite way, it'll help you um, tighten up the belt better. So now we latched it up. And I need a new belt. What's up, Pioneer? Hook me up. Need a new one, dog. But um, let's get it. Let's get this shit. We got 405 for one single warm up. Let's go. Come on. One, two, up. Got it. Uh. Uh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. It's the SC shit. It's the SC shit. Come on, Lee. Yo. Let's take off now. Afford a mistake these days, but I got to. I gotta got get paid. Fuck a ball. Yeah. I gotta get that drug money. I need me that drug money. Don't take a friend of my way. No, no, no. Don't take a friend of my way. I don't trust nobody. I don't love nobody. Don't take a friend of my way. Cartel, set her alarm. Talking that business, I never use a phone. What up, big? What up, Lee? What up, Ed? What up, D? R.I.P. Nipsey. R.I.P. Go big. Still can't see me. Hey. New Benz was no ID. And I'm trying to stay focused on this money. And I'm trying to do good, but these cops always on me. The phone to New Benz. Yeah, I'm on that. Never trust the bitch. Hell no, I'm done with that. Mira, mira, como hago maravilla. Bang, okay, last warm up, we'll see how it moves. We got 455 on the bar. If it moves smooth, bump it up to five wheels. If it's hard, we're gonna stay here. Let's go. I can't afford a mistake these days, but I got to. I got to. I gotta get paid. Fuck a ball. I gotta get that drug man. I need me that drug man. Don't take a friend of my way. No, no, no. Don't take a friend of my way. We got 500 even on the block. The goal is two. But one, I'll take one. So let's go. Go time. the next exercise we have incline dumbbells we straight killed incline press um, Lee hit a big PR 315 and I hit a double of 500 definitely wasn't a PR but it's a PR at my new body weight 300 pounds or under three bills so felt real nice to maintain my strength um, while dropping weight well I don't want to say maintain but maintain most of my strength I think my PR with 500 is a uh, maybe four reps or so. Um, so two is not bad. Two is not bad, I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. You know, 50 plus pounds down, so I feel good, man. Um, you know, once I, I get to the weight, my goal weight that I want, I can start building my strength up and building them calories back up. But uh, for right now, while I'm still losing, 
I'm, I'm super pleased with uh, what I banged out, man. So just gotta keep pushing. Right now, we're just trying to maintain. I'm not trying to get stronger. That wouldn't make sense. We can't get stronger while losing weight, but we could definitely do our best to try to maintain and not lose our strength. So um, we're gonna jump into some dumbbells, man. Everything we do, we do it moderately heavy, if not max max loads like we just did, heavy, heavy doubles. So um, kick them off with the inclined dumbbells. Let's get it. We gotta kick them off with the 105, 105. Let's go, let's go. We got the Lee, the human machina, lifting them up for me. Yep, spies gonna lift 120. Them you know, not maxing out on these, but we're doing heavy weight with good full range of motion. The goal is uh, eight to 10 reps. Let's go. Let's get it. Blow them up. Up, 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 up. Come on, big. One. Two, three, four, five. Get it on me. Six, seven, eight. That shit, dog. Nine, ten. Up. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chucky. Come on, Norris. Come on. Get it, Lee. Get it, Lee, Roy. Come on, Chucky. Let's go. Shit. Get it, Chucky. Come on. All right. Last set. We got the 130s right here. Um, bang out another set of 8 to 10. All the way up, all the way down. Full range of motion. Getting that money. Let's go. Get it. That oh shit, homie. Slow that hood up. Get me. Come on! 